As the digital clock ticks away, Quentin Tarantino and Miramax's legal dust-up over the Oscar winner's plan to auction off NFTs of his Pulp Fiction screenplay just opened a whole new front. A week before the first of seven offerings is set to start of the 1994 film script, lawyers for the Bill Block Run studio just drew a distinct line in the infringement sand with the platform bringing the goods to market. Your apparent reliance on Mr. Tarantino's position about his rights to Pulp Fiction is misguided, says Miramax outside counsel Bart H. Williams in a letter sent this afternoon to SCRT Lab CEO Guy's Ice Kind, read it here. Whatever limited rights Mr. Tarantino has to screenplay publication, they d. What your press release calls Mr. Tarantino's never-before-seen handwritten screenplay cannot yet be iconic, or a fan favorite. So it is transparent that you and Mr. Tarantino are trying to capitalize on Miramax's content, intellectual property rights, and brand. Then, after some further verbiage, things get a bit medieval. Assuming that you, like Mr. Tarantino, plan on going forward with the auction, please be on notice that you are doing so at your own risk, including the risk that you will later owe the proceeds of any sales to Miramax along with other. We would hope that you also inform prospective purchasers of the risks of purchasing these unauthorized NFTs, including that purchasers may have to return the NFTs to Miramax and forfeit the price they paid for such NFTs, and that purchasers may incur additional liability in the event they later say. Reps for SCRT Labs did not respond to Deadline's request for comment on this latest salvo in what has become a shooting war so far. Back in mid-November, Miramax sued its former Golden Goose Tarantino for breach of contract, copyright infringement and more after the filmmaker announced his intention a few weeks earlier to cash in on the big bucks non-fungible token fat. Left unchecked, Tarantino's conduct could mislead others into believing Miramax is involved in his venture, the 22-page jury-seeking complaint stated. And it could also mislead others into believing they have the rights to pursue similar deals or offerings, when in fact Miramax holds the rights needed to develop, market, and sell NFTs relating to its deep film library. Almost immediately, Tarantino's hard-hitting lawyer Brian Friedman swung back. Quentin Tarantino's contract is clear, he has the right to sell NFTs of his handwritten script for Pulp Fiction and this ham-fisted attempt to prevent him from doing so will fail, the attorney said in a statement.